It's Peric. The mystery Guggen coming over here is Peric. Unnecessary suspense on YouTube is usually not appreciated anymore. I think we're making a bait. He'll be over here tomorrow. Isn't that cute? I got two pieces of wood. We're gonna, I think, you know, I don't know what we're doing right now, okay? But I think what we're gonna do is make a couple of baits and try to catch a fish, see who catches a fish first. That's about the only thing I could think to do. If I had to go hang out with me, what would I do? Make a bait and try to catch a fish. That's all that I do. I'm gonna make mine today, and then I'm gonna help Peric make his tomorrow. Pretty simple video. A little collab, this will be fun, you know. This is no way to host a guest. Look at this. Look at this shop. Ugh. It's more clean than it was. And I am sick of cleaning, so let's make a bait quickly. This is gonna be quick. Kablooey! I got my bait done, quick. That was uh, that was probably like a 10 second montage, actually. Over my logo. <laughs> and the bait's done. Peric's here, he just arrived. We're gonna make his bait too. We're gonna get something similar to this. This is Peric's first time using a bandsaw. If you guys know anything about me, um, I'm prone to accidents and I'm prone to just things going wrong, so sharp objects are not in my wheelhouse, but I'm gonna attempt this. This thing looks, uh, looks scary, but it looks like I can get it done. Believe. <laughs> All right, is there any like safety gloves or anything I should be? No, it's no, just, you just... touch that blade and you're gonna get hurt. Okay. Like you keep your finger away from that blade. Okay. That's it. Okay. Glasses or anything or? Oh, you not... want some? No, no, I'm just wondering if there's gonna be anything in my eyes. Just in case you <laughs> want some. There. Okay, here we go. Safety Sally's rejoice. <laughs> <laughs> He did better than I would have done for my first bait. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of proud over here. Wait, we needed to get that on film. What did he just <laughs> said that he's enjoying this too? We're gonna start an addiction yeah, with Alex yeah. here. I, <laughs> I could tell that this is like, I don't know, there's something about just making something. I, I can already feel that when I get to the pond and actually catch something on this, it's just gonna be like gratifying. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna for be sure. great. Chant for lines, that's what we're doing now. Here we go. Somebody sent me this, a subscriber sent me this knife and it sharpens to just absolute hair popping Holy sharp. God. So, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is me literally carving like. No, this is, here, this is you. I'm so confused at this step right here. You hold it right here and you carve down to those lines. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna carve it just a little bit, okay? Just to show Alex here. See how I went down to that oh, line? Oh, so now what, we're making the bait rounded instead yeah. of being, okay, got it, got it. That's what we're doing here got with it. this step. Do you like one motion or multiple motions? It's better to, if you're just beginning, you wanna take off little bits at a time and work your way down to the lines. It's so interesting seeing beginners and what they intuit, how they just intuitively start to do something compared to what I do, it's just, yeah, it's like, cool. Everybody's got their own way to do it. Yep. If you don't know what you're doing. Do I want to go like super hard or just like that pace? Oh, you can go as fast, as hard as you want. We are slowly but surely going to have a beautiful bait done by the end of this day and a fish caught with it. It's going good. The bait is nice and smooth. Now we need to make some marks and drill some holes. And is this base, like this model, like this mold based off of a crankbait you you like brought off the line or how do you know about the spacing? I know that it works good. It's a template that I've used before. Got it, got it. Okay, Alex got a lead hole drilled and I didn't actually show it, sorry. But what we're gonna do next is install some hardware. It's a little bait. We got little twist wire, hardware, line tie things for it. These are lefty tidy, righty loosey. So oh really, you, so you okay. twist it left to screw it in. Got it. Just drip some glue on that and screw in. Not yes. terrible. Not at all, that is good. Being a professor of lure making, I'm missing a lot of shots and I'm spending a lot of time on Alex's bait here and trying to get him to perfect a bait today. But he drilled the lead hole, he put lead in the bait, he covered it with super glue and baking soda and now he's just kind of filing it flat. Yeah, my hard, I don't know what that step was called, but you know what it was called, the hardest part for me. Oh, yeah. drawing drawing the chamfer lines. It was a, it was a little difficult. I also <laughs> don't understand the wood grain still. Like I, I kind of do, but I still like, Yeah. I'm just. Going against the wood grain is definitely a challenge when you're carving bait. <laughs> it's a tight fit, but we're getting the lip in. Put that way, just a little bit. 
We've reached the point where we're just pouring super glue all over the bait. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this completely wrong? No, you're fine. Oh, okay. So the bait is sealed. We have a little bit of sanding to do before it's ready for paint, but then it is on to painting. A little paint on there? Yeah, it don't matter. Oh, okay. There we are go. starting with white. Oh, I went way too hard in the beginning. It's fine. It'll all dry. And are, are we out? I've never painted anything like this before, so bear with me, folks. That's what we're going for today. Is it covered? Uh, it got a little splotchy, but this is the tool to use when that happened. Real splotchy. Yeah. Now we don't have to watch it dry. It was not as clean as I would hope for. Try you can just paint right over paint that, yeah. It's still a little wet, but it won't move. You can keep your airbrush like back. There okay. You go. Anyway. Alex just got the screen mesh over his bait. It's looking a little rough, but it's good. It's looking good. For a first paint job ever, you hit it hard there. Oh, okay. You can't see it, but like it's once good. you take the screen off, you see it in the sunlight. Like. Mr. Nate went to go uh, take a leak, so he doesn't know I'm recording this right now. But really, really thankful for him inviting me out here. Like this is insane to be come to his shop, like where all these videos are made and like where all these crazy baits are made. Like look at this, like most famous lure. There's the shark lure, chipmunk. It's got all this stuff here, and I can now see how much time it takes. Like you guys have no clue from start to finish, to figuring all this out and how much experience he has, it's, you could just tell by the way he talks, so. Thanks again, channel, thanks for having me out here. And uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna test his fishing skills. I came here to make a bait, but I also came here to test Nate's fishing skills, so. Wow. You can see him? Wow. It's all good? Yeah. Nice. That just added so much to it, I feel like. But it's, you know, it's got, it's got something, some familiar stuff with it. Bright really works around here. Yeah. It'll oh, be yeah. good. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. Heck yes. That's his first bait. That is not bad. We were saying it looks like a little mini musky bait. All right guys, everybody roast me in the comments or tell me how good I did. Probably a lot of roasting will be done, but no, this is legit. Like I've not made any lures before. I've never airbrushed or anything like that, so. Gorgeous. Oh, it's like a jello. Yep. It drips off slowly. Is the whole bait? Is there a little section that's not? Is that a big deal or? Oh, you want to get the whole bait, whole bait. like right up to the lip. It, I know what you mean. It's kind of hard to get it right up to the lip. But looks oh like my goodness, that thing is sexual. <laughs> Demonetize. <laughs> Here's my bait once again. We just got to the pond. I don't know if this is a competition or what. It might just be. Let's see if we can get fish. Wow, this one works good. Woo, you guys see that? You okay? What? Do you get better now? No, I, oh. I'm just saying the action's good. Oh, have you not used that lure yet? No, I haven't seen how it works. So I tried to keep the lip lip angles to where these are re really shallow. They don't, they won't dive very far. I'm nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for your bait. I want it to run good. Is, is yours just killing it? Oh yeah, mine yeah. runs great. Oh, yeah. You have a little bit smaller of a lip, so I'm just kind of nervous. Okay. Here we go. Everything rolling? All right. The first official test. Oh, it's good. Oh, baby. You made a perfect bait. First oh, try. Oh, my gosh. Wow, how is there no rolling either? Are we doing first fish? First fish? First fish. First fish. You too. I've lost. I've lost. I lost a challenge to a Guggen. Yeah. Biggest fish. New challenge. <laughs> well, Alex won. Oh well. I mean, my dignity is kind of injured right now, but I, I feel good for him. I'm actually kind of proud. First bait he's ever made, caught a fish with it same day. That's, that's pretty significant. Good for him. I should go let him know I'm proud.
I guess I'm proud of you. I guess. Yeah. You go too deep in this pond, you're gonna hit a lot of gunk and moss. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try it real quick. I'm not getting like any bottom contact at all. Contact at all. Yep. This is large mouth, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there? There's wipers in here. Yeah. There's crappie wipers. There's tiger musky. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh, you just did a one day first so lure sweet. you ever made. So sweet. That's pretty awesome. And that comes in straight and everything. Yeah. Wow. Like 100% straight. You're a beast. Ah, okay, okay. This is, uh, this is getting out of hand. Peric's caught two. I don't know what Alex was just doing. He ran back to the truck. Oh, he has another fish on. Okay, he's got three, I got zero. This is weird. This is, it's okay, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. What I have to do now is go for a big fish. I'm gonna cast out in the middle, hope a wiper slaps it. That will reignite my dignity. Jeez, Alex goes hard. I've never been back there, look at that guy. You got three? Yeah. One was in that current, like there's current coming out of that tube was sitting right in the tube. Yeah. And my first fish was sitting right on that current flowing out. Current? Yeah. I got you. Alright, I'll keep fishing, try to get one. If I don't, hey, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> if I don't, it's no big deal. <laughs> you gotta catch one. I Can know. Can make a video out of this? Yeah. Okay, good. Just, you gotta make a video out of it. That means I have to get one. Yeah. Uh, you also could, like, tell your audience that mine is a little bit better and you can just switch to mine. All right, I'm uh <laughs> I'm uh, going to try to catch one now. <laughs> oh, no. Did you see the size of that swirl right? Th oh my gosh, something just What? Oh. No. That was 100% a wiper that just really went at it and missed. I don't know, what is up with this bait? It's kind of running sideways too. That fish came in from this yeah. way and the hooks are kind of like this on it. Yeah, my, uh, we need a pliers. I know, I did, forgot them. There we go. It's a bit better. Bank it! Oh, is that the biggest one today? Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely the healthiest one too. I only got one so far, but it's the biggest. That's what matters, right guys? The release shot. Oh. <laughs> it's official. It's official. <laughs> I don't know what's official, but it's official. That has audio, right? No. No. <laughs> Bass-like crankbaits that are made with Alex Parrick. It all worked out. Parrick caught a fish on his first bait that he ever made by hand by himself. That's something to be proud of. The same day. That's, wow. And I'm not kidding. If that was my first bait that I ever made, that'd be amazing. That's, that's very good for a first bait. So thank you to Parrick for coming out and making a bait with me. It's, yeah. uh... No, thanks for having me. This was awesome, and hopefully we can collab in the future and do some more stuff. And, of course, yes. You know, there's so many ideas. When YouTubers get together, bounce ideas off each other, and just... It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I think now I'm going to do some go-karting. Kind of random, yes, but that's what I'm going to go do.